Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here covering holes number 13, 14, and 15 of the final round of the Typhoon Tournament. So we're going to start off with the par 4. We're going to play at 0% at max. You can set up your spins with one bar of side spin to the right with four bars of top spin. Then we move our target over to the fairway, putting our red ring right here on the rough line. From here we'll pull 0% at max and we'll get ready for shot number 2 which will be played with the Goliath rough bump. So shot two here, I went with a little bit too much top spin. Um, you know, we haven't been able to trust the ball guy line on this hole all tournament, uh, but it appears here we will be able to trust it a little bit better. So, you know, I didn't know that heading into this hole, but I went with a little bit too much top spin, like I said. You're going to notice here, also take a look at the spin adjustments, though. I think we just need to go five top. So we have five top and we have 0 0.3 right. So I think we need to go like 4.8 top. I misspoke. We need to go 4.8 top, and I would keep the right side spin on, the 0.3. From here, I'm pulling minus 10% at minimum distance. Perfect ball. And you'll see it just comes in too fast and just a little bit to the right-hand side of the hole. So you know, now I'm thinking about what I just said. I think we need to go 4.8 top. 0.1 side spin to the right. So 4.8 top, 0.1 side spin to the right, minus 10% at minimum distance. Give that a try. See if you can get that hole to drop. All right, now we go into the par 5. We're going to play this one headwind with the Kingmaker. We're going to back up to the plus 8 yard mark. Uh, probably the plus 6 would be better due to me uh, pulling into overpower when I adjust here. But 6 top, 2 bars of side spin to the left. Again, I would change this to the plus six. You see here I'm pushing into overpower, which means I'm going to use a click of OP. No big deal. Easy to hit perfect. All we need to do is get on the fairway for shot number two. Even with this little amount of yards, we'll still be able to take our sniper shot towards the pin. Now, I hit a great ball here, but I'm going to show you the great ball shot instead of my perfect shot. Uh, because I do believe this is the setup that we need. I think we need to go about 1.1 back. That's going to vary depending on your drive. I also believe we need to go one bar a side spin to the left. You notice here I put my ball guideline center a cup just short. Um, make sure that your ball guideline is going through the back of the cup here. I'm going to come up short, but again, I hit a great shot. So two things are going to happen. One, it's not going to be accurate. Two, I'm going to lose power on the shot, right? But notice here, the ball comes in. Um, who knows what would have happened with a perfect ball? Maybe I get to the hole, but it's going to be really close. My other account, uh, I only did half a bar of backspin with the ball guideline to the hole and half a bar of side spin to the left. I came in too hot, although not, not very hot. It just came in a little bit too much speed, and I missed to the right-hand side. That's why I'm showing you this great ball set setup, because I think this is the type of setup that we need to get closer to the Albatross. Okay, and that'll take us into this uh, massive downhill par 3. Again, same way I've been playing it all tournament, max back, max left. Just laying up here, taking my birdie and running. Setting up at the plus 3-yard mark ball guideline. I moved my target around until I had that ball guideline developed and then pulled it back just a little bit. But here again, this is just simply a birdie hole. And then we move on to the final three holes. I used half a ball of curl to the left. Could use a little bit more here. But that is it for holes number 13, 14, and 15. Hopefully the walkthrough is helping you all out. Please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Thanks, everybody.